people, what is up my crazy subscribers, this is John Cena! No, I am not John Cena, I'm actually a bum from New York, sitting under a bridge, recording this with my laptop while taking a shit in the corner. So yeah, I am not John Cena, I repeat, I am not John Cena. So anyway, today, we're gonna be talking about the Christmas noobs of 2015 here in the most greatest, most amazing game of all time, and even has more story than Destiny. Call of Duty Ghost. Nah, just kidding. This is Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Call of Duty Ghost was that ugly ass chick that we all know from high school. Like, I was in high school like four years ago, and there was this fat chick that has like a big ass nose. We used to call her Shrek, by the way. Yeah. We all, like, back in the football locker room, we're like, hey, hey, have you seen Shrek? You know, she's wearing this tight ass shirt. And that's true. Like, every single day, she will wear a shirt that's even tighter than the day before. And sometimes she'll wear that, that shirt with a smiley on it. I'm not sure you guys have. You know, ever encountered a shirt with at least a face on it, but she wore like one with a smiley, and instead of smiling, it was actually just straight a, a straight line. Like it was like, oh, save me! Like, girl, you gotta let that shirt breathe. Come on, man, you can't be wearing those kind of shits in here. So yeah, that that's we all have that kind of girl in every single high school. We all do. And that girl was literally fucking nasty. She was, she was Mexican as fuck, and then she had this ugly ass. I don't know. I don't want to describe her, but that's. Call of Duty Ghost. Call of Duty Black Ops 3 is like that nerd chick that we all sit next to, but we're afraid to talk to because we all know she got a little attitude. So um, that's Black Ops 3 to you guys. You know, she's that little girl with a, you know, with the black trim glasses and uh, black hair and kind of nerdyish. That's Black Ops 3. So all I'm gonna say is that this game is pretty good compared to Call of Duty Ghost. So today we're gonna be talking about Christmas noobs again and Christmas noobs. Welcome to the game, and um, all I want to say is, God damn, y'all are whooping ass. This game serves as one example of what hap what's happening in the past few days. So, I've been playing, and uh, most of the time I end up with a team with a bunch of procedures against up up against uh, a bunch of Christmas noobs, and I was like, oh right, we're gonna own, you know, because we've we've been playing this game forever since day one. And at the end of the match, we ended up losing. I was like, what the hell just happened? I'm stuck with the prestigious like 5 to 6, or prestigious from 4 to 5 or whatever. And we still lose against a bunch of teams of noobs. And this game serves one great example. If you guys saw in the beginning of the match, I was losing badly. We were losing by 34, I believe. If you guys go back into the halftime mark, we were losing by 40. And if you saw the scoreboard, you should know how many players were actually prestiged. So um, if you can pause the video like whenever right now, you should be able to see who the hell was playing. And then on my side, there's this guy called Gamer for Live Six Seven One. He's higher procedure than me, and he's going like maybe like twelve and twelve, and he's doing super bad against a team that has this level twenty two and moral epicness and Darius one two two eight. They're prestige zero, and he's losing badly. I'm like, what's going on there, day one player? And one of my you know, speculation that's going on here is that the day one players of Black Ops 3 have lost their senses of their fundamentals. Like, they don't know what the hell to do anymore. Because if you guys remember, on, on day one, day one of Black Ops 3, we all just played the objectives because we wanted to learn the maps first. And once you learn the maps, you know where to go all the time. Like, right, right after the beginning of the match, you know where to go. Where to hide and everything. So you don't play the objective anymore because, oh, I gotten a lot of kills in this direction, so I'm gonna head over here like as fast as fast as I can, so nobody can get there first. And that's what everybody does nowadays. So who, the people who've been playing this game since day one are doing that every single time, leaving the objectives wide open. A flag, B flag, C flag, safeguard, safeguard for God's sake. Safeguard has to be the easiest objective game of all time, but yet people tend to fail. Like I had a whole team going the opposite side of the fucking robot in the uh, in that fish tank map, whatever. And I was like, man, y'all prestige and y'all losing against a team of a bunch of noobs. They haven't played the game, man. No, They don't even have a single customized weapon and we still lost. So that's what's been going on lately, guys. So that's really surprising because back in Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, and a little bit of Advanced Warfare. I did have Advanced Warfare, Advanced Warfare during Christmas. You know, during those times, we will end up Christmas noobs. We were on him. And that wasn't even a big problem. It was just a super easy, you know, thing to do because we can take advantage of them and increase our KDs. But now, I am losing to a bunch of Christmas news because my teammates do not want to cooperate with the objectives. It's just seriously an embarrassment. This fan base, this player base in Black Ops Two, Black Ops Two, Black Ops Three, 
is just a total embarrassment. You guys do not deserve this game. Please return it and do not play on my side if you're going to suck that bad. If you guys saw the scoreboard, you, you should know who was high prestige in that fucking scoreboard. Hopefully, he does have a YouTube and watches this. So, that is it, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe for more. You guys want to see more Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and also more crazy topics. I'll see you guys later.